Hey guys, welcome to this short tutorial. I want to show you a sneak preview of our new product, uh, which is for creating style guides with Frontify. So, basically I start the web application and here I have also these two buttons. We need this one, create style guide, so you get directly into the new product. Okay, I'll showcase this new app with a highlight brand. This is a, an imaginary brand which we created to, yeah, to showcase the whole product. Okay, we have here the possibility to choose between templates. Currently there are only two and more will come. So I can start with an empty style guide or I can start with a basic style guide. I'll choose that one. We already have some content in it. So we don't need to start from scratch. Now Frontify uh, has two modes which is important to know. We have the view mode which we are currently in and we have the edit mode. I can switch between these two modes by clicking on this button here. So now I'm in the edit mode and when I click again on the button I'm in the view mode. And you see I cannot edit any content. You have also the possibility to switch these modes by a shortcut which is command E or control E depend on what browser and computers you're sitting on. Okay so since you already got an introduction from me uh, right now we don't need this introduction page and I can delete it. Let's start with uploading a logo. When I click here to upload the logo, I have here my files and I'll upload, let's say, this one. Okay, now we already have the logo in here and when we switch to the view mode, we at least have the logo here. But let's get started. First, I want to add some content in here. I can navigate between these pages and first I want to write something about the brand itself. So here I can add a call out which says this is just an imaginary brand style guide. If I want to make this call out more friendly I can switch here between these modes. So let's have it as an information. Okay, now I want to add a section which says the brand, the highlight brand. And when you see when I add a section it directly is added here into the left hand navigation. Also I can add some simple con content like text and uh, write something about the brand. This is a very cool brand. We love it. Even if it's not real. Okay, I can of course use this to write uh, more um, information. I have uh, possibilities to create lists here. Item 1, item 2. I can have ordered lists, item, item 1, item 2. So basically I just need to mark this and that's the way how it works. Mark it as an ordered list. And I can also mark this as bold or add some headings. So this is some text about the brand itself. Now what I want to do is not only the text but I want to add some information and the logo itself. So I add another section and see it's already here and I add let's say an image which I can just drag from finder and also I can switch the modes here. So let's say I want it a little smaller, 
this is the main highlight the logo. Additionally, I can add here attachments, some other versions of the logo. For instance, I will here add this Retina version of the logo. So it's added as an attachment. Okay, this was the first step. Now I want to do um, add some colors to it. For that I can add here these colors block and um, write something about this palette. I can say this is primary colors. Use these colors as primary colors. And now I can start adding colors. And I can of course rename this color. Let's say this should be grassland. I can rename the technical name. So this is needed for the uh, CSS precompiler like less or sus. Also I can add other colors. I can create another palette which is secondary colors. So fast forward works the same. And I'll add another palette which is the let's say text colors. Use these colors for text oops text only. So this is it. Uh, when I go into the view mode again, I see this is pretty well uh, also ordered by the hue of the color automatically and I can here switch modes. So for instance the drops which are big, a little bit bigger and more accentuated. Something what I can do here as well is to add a color scale for instance. So I add here this color scale block and I can add colors. For instance, I have here this one. I have this one. Mm, this has a little bit more usage. Then I'll add this one. Mm, this one and this one. So for instance, I can say, okay, this blue color is used the most, then the second is this green and then this blue. So you can scale your colors and showcase uh, the usage or the weighted usage of the colors. Of course, you can make this smaller as well. Okay. And also I can add here a color downloader. So you get automatically these colors which are defined as swatches and you can use it in the whole Adobe palette for instance for Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. So when you click here in the view mode, Frontify automatically downloads you the color palette or the swatch file for Adobe. Okay, this was the colors. Now I want to add some typography here. For that we have the fonts block and we have already some fonts from uh, Google Web Fonts added here. So you have the whole Google Web Fonts package which you can start searching. Garamond. And you basically see that the whole style of the style guide has changed to this font which was defined here. So for instance, I can remove it and show you another example. Let's say I want this font, which is also very nice. And then Frontify automatically changes the, the whole style of the style guide, the whole font style to this new font you've added here. If you don't need all the weights uh, that um, Google Web Fonts provides, you can delete, of course, and uh, 
so that you have the whole package you want. Currently we support Google Web Fonts, but others will follow like myfonts.com or fonts.com, which will be searchable as well. But if you have already a package from my, myfonts.com or fonts.com, uh, this already works. So I can show you that one as well. So instead of typing here, you can upload uh, here your font package. Click here or drag and drop it at the same place. And uh, let's say I have here myfonts.com. This package is automatically recognized and it shows you the fonts. You can add others as well, like the fonts.com. And it shows you again in the same font which was defined the whole style guide. So let's say uh, here we have the fonts and below the fonts I want to add some styles. For that I can go and add these typography styles here. Let's say we have here the headings and uh, I can change of course the size which is maybe 20 or I can make it uh, 3 EMs. That looks pretty nice already. And I can add some other styles and delete them as well. So for instance I have here now the style which is called headings. And if I refresh that, see the sample text is already also changed. So something specifically what I can find here are the colors which are allowed to use for these styles. So for instance, I can define here the colors, um, let's say this gray and this white. And I can say for this white text colors, it is allowed to use this blue as background or this green or even let's say this, this gray and this gray. Looks pretty nice. And I can do the same for the black one and say okay black one is allowed to use with this green and let's say with this and this one. So basically you see that you can define rules, say this black or this dark gray is not allowed to use on these background colors but it is allowed on this and on this and when I switch to the uh, white color, text color, it is allowed on blue, on green or gray in this gray, but it's not allowed on white itself. So when I switch it, it automatically switches the text color as well. This is uh, very important to yeah, set some rules for your brand, which say, okay, for the headings, you need to use these and these colors, and they are only allowed on certain backgrounds. So what also I can add here, for instance, the, col uh, the fonts downloader. So you have these fonts, of course, and you can download it and have a whole package and can reuse it for your website, for instance. Okay, when I switch the icons, I can add, of course, icon packages. For that, I open this add dialog and add the icon block. And currently, we support icon packages from Icomoon, Fontello, and Fantastic. So if you have one of them, Download it from the from this website and you can of course use it. So for instance I'll just use these icons here for the social social media. And you see you have here the character mapping, you have the name of these icons and of course the preview. And of course you can download it as well. Okay, so for instance I'll have here the images. I can add some images which belong to the brand. 
um, I can add single images or image grids. We have some images and oh yeah, we like the mountains. So you can add the images here and write some description to it. The highlight people love mountains. That's that's why we use these mountain images. And you can of course uh, activate which kind of columns you want to choose. Maybe you want a bigger one, so two columns, and this looks pretty nice then. Okay, this is how you can add this content. Of course, you can add some other content. I will show you, for instance, let's say we have here a page we call public relations. And you can add here, for instance, a section which is called press kit and some description. This is the press kit which is provided to journalists. And you can of course add here attachments as well. I have here the press kit, just drag it and drop it and it's out uploaded automatically. For instance you can use and add here some, let's say we have here a company video on YouTube, just add it here and it's directly embedded. Yeah, this is basically it. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration. And down below in the description, you'll find the link where you can request early access. Thanks very much. Bye.